Hi, I'm Dave Epstein, and welcome to my Garden and Growing Wisdom. And I want to talk about Monarda Bee Balm. Bee Balm's interesting. In some parts of my garden, I have it just sort of sprouting up. It's a very English kind of garden because it's a mixture of a lot of different perennials. But in one section, I tried this several years ago. Look what I did. Look over here. I put all the Monarda, all the Bee Balm together. I've put a couple of different varieties, but basically it's one red variety in here. And What's really wonderful about this is that it gives you just such a splash of color. You can see it's just brilliant. It's going to bloom for many weeks, three to four, five weeks if I'm lucky. If you cut them back after they're done blooming, they will rebloom again. Not quite as dramatic, but they will rebloom right from that little spot. It likes sun to part sun. I find that it does pretty well in just normal soil. It really doesn't need a very, very rich soil, and it handles a little bit of drought. Sometimes my bee balm gets fairly dry, and it does pretty well, so that's one of the great things about it. A very easy plant to grow. And hummingbirds and butterflies love these guys, so Monarda bee balm, put a whole stand of it in. Don't just put one little plant in. Look how beautiful that looks. Come back every week for all of our tips, hints, and helps at growingwisdom.com.